So in Skull and Bones, you are going to be working on your infamy rank, and it goes up to Kingpin, and every single time you increase your infamy rank, you're going to unlock new things. Like, for an example, the Brigantine is unlocked when you reach Cutthroat. So in this video, what we're going to do is go through the fastest way I've found to increase your infamy rank. And if you have a look at the bottom right, I have choices. I can hold B and set sail and stuff, or I can hold my right bumper and go to the helm. So you need to make sure you have the helm unlocked which is going to be a mission that you will come across as you're playing. So when you are in here, you have three different things you can do. You have a supply network. If we interact with this, you are going to see a bunch of missions you can do to go and get your hands on sugarcane. You are also going to get a tax, and you can go and take down a convoy to get sugarcane so you don't have to pay for it. Like you don't have to spend your silver on it. But once you've got sugarcane, if you come to your distillery you're going to be able to turn it into White Skull Rum. So if we provide materials, I currently don't have any, but sugarcane will be turned into rum, and then what you can do is come over to this bit here, the order registry, and you can like accept orders to go and deliver rum. So there's one right here, standard order, to take 42 rum over to the oubliette. I currently have an order on me, so if I very quickly show you in my journal, I've got to go to the same outpost. I've got to deliver 47 White Skull Rum. You can use any ship for this. The cutter might actually be decent because it's got the self-healing. But I'm in my brig, and as long as you have the White Skull Rum on you, you are going to get rogues that come and attack you while you're on your way to the outpost. So if we start sailing, I will show you guys when I get the first set of rogues come and attack me. So I've managed to find a couple. I'm not sure if they're after me. They are rank 10, but they shouldn't be that difficult to deal with. So if I slow down a little bit, what we are going to do is I'm actually going to fire my mortar. And I'm going to use my long gun as well, deal damage to these. And then because I'm in the brig, I might as well try and get the ram as well. There we go. That's one dealt with. Then the demi cannons. And then because you're now behind me, if I use my torpedoes. Hopefully one hits. There we go. So all I've got to do is turn this bad boy around. I didn't even need to do anything else. The flooding and stuff took out that rogue. So you'll see on the right hand side, every single rogue kill is earning 150 infamy. And you're getting a bunch of resources as well. There's different food types. There's silver chests. There's cannonballs. There's the resources you need for crafting the rum. And then as you're making your, like, as you're on your journey, you're heading towards the outpost to do the delivery, there's just going to be rogues spawning time and time again. So I'm going to deal with these two quickly. If I just drop a little mortar on your head there. And there we go. So every single rogue you defeat is going to give you 150 infamy. So you're going to level up really, really quick. And you'll see taking down a normal ship only gives you 50 infamy. Or it gave me 50 anyway. So the rogues are uh, three times as much infamy. And there we go. We've got our third set of rogues that have been sent out to try and deal with us as we're doing this delivery. So I've done with those as well. We've got another 300 infamy. And you don't have to drop this stuff off as long as you've got this active and you've got some rum on you. Rogues are going to keep spawning. So you can farm it over and over and over again. As well as getting all of the infamy, if we go to the cargo, I've got some different types of food that's made up. So that restores stamina regen by 50%. It restores crew to crew damage by 10%. Brace mitigation by 30%. I've got a bunch of uncut rubies. i got frankincense, nutmeg, spice. I ended up with six silver chests. i got tobacco leaves. i got juniper berries. i got loads of poppies and also 20 sugar cane. So that is how you level up your infamy rank fast in Skull and Bones. Make sure you go into the helm, making your white skull rum, taking it over to the outposts for delivery and stuff, and just earning all of the materials and your infamy in the game. And what we're going to do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Skull and Bones in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.